Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Chris. This is my brother Angel. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, basically what we do here is we 3D model various characters from like video games, cartoons, anime. And we 3D print them on our 3D printer. We paint them and we show you the process from start to finish. Um, so that's what, what we're going to show you in this video for one of our characters. So in this episode, we're going to talk about Bullet Bill. Uh, he was one of the original characters in from the super, uh, I mean, super the regular Mario game back in uh, back in the day on the NES, and uh, he got a little bit of a twist in the new Super Mario Odyssey, and uh, basically Mario takes over certain characters in the game, and Bully Bill is one of them. And uh, when he does that, he uh, gets like the signature mustache and the hat, and we thought it looked kind of cool, so we decided to do this version of him. So yeah, uh, make sure you guys stick around and watch our process on how we did that. And we'll see you guys at the end of the video. So uh, is his name actually Bill? Like, do you think when Bowser was naming his minions, did he like see a giant bullet and he just, he just went like, I think I'm going to call you Bill. It's actually kind of cool when you're controlling Bullet Bill, even though he doesn't last very long. He lasts for a couple seconds and then you explode. Uh, but you could actually speed up a little bit. But yeah, that kind of sucks though that you explode because I kind of wish I could just fly around the whole level. I don't know. I just thought, always thought he was kind of the cool one, like of the little side characters. I mean, the other one, Goomba, he's just a potato with legs. And then the, the turtle, uh, Koopa, it's super, super, Koopa, Koopa Trooper. I always thought it was kind of satisfying jumping on top of him and, and killing him. Not not as, not as, <laughs> not as satisfying as killing a Goomba, of course, but. I, I just like that little sound effect it makes when you when you would jump on him and, and he dies. I always wonder why he had arms. Like, it's, it's not like he could grab you, right? I don't think I've ever seen him grab Mario. What's the, the point of his arms, exactly? Yeah, so Bullet Bill was pretty easy to make. It's, he's just, uh, you know, like a simple shape and with eyes and simple arms. And uh, it didn't take me that long. It took me probably like just like two hours overall. It took me a long time to print because it's kind of big. So like three, four hours maybe. But I think what took the longest was the the post processing, the sanding and the primary. Since it didn't it didn't really print out very well, like it printed out with with a bunch of cracks in it. We had to like put wood filler and primer, a lot of sanding, because my my bro did all that post processing work, and he took he took months to get the bullet bill to look mostly smooth. Does anybody wish they make a a game where Bullet Bill's the main character, just trying to kill Mario? flying around the mushroom kingdom just looking for mario yeah but one of the things is how come he doesn't go faster you know he's pretty slow uh i forgot somebody made an animation about that what if he went the actual speed of of a real gun and he just kind of like kills mario in one shot also where where does bowser buy his ammunition for bullet bill does he make it in a factory is he like organic where he can procreate or how does that work exactly? Does he eat? Because he has a mouth. Can he talk? I mean, even though we're we're a little late to the Mario Odyssey party, we the reason we decided to do this version of Bullet Bill was because my bro just started playing the, the game recently and he just thought it looked kind of cool, I guess. All the characters look kind of cool with that mustache and hat that you get, like the Goomba and the Paratrooper. Oh, you know which, you know which part was kind of kind of cool about that game at when you control bowser and you're running through the level i think that was the best part of the game for me why well, i really like the new mario i think it's probably my my favorite one at the moment and i think my favorite level is is when you get to ride the t-rex that came out of nowhere man yeah that that part kind of seemed out of place compared to the whole game speaking of out of place the the other kingdom that kind of felt out of place was the new dunk city because I'm, sh I'm sure everybody's talked about this by now but like real humans next to mario look kind of weird it like it feels like it doesn't belong but i mean i guess after a while you, you kind of get used to it but i don't know why they just didn't make them look like if resembled kind of like mario characters like if they kind of look like mario and luigi and waluigi and wario you know they look like they belong in the same world so why didn't they just make the other humans kind of look like them but while we're on the whole mario thing like you know bowser's kids <laughs> what's up with that <laughs> Seriously, whose whose kids are those? Are I mean, you know, they look like Bowser. They like, I guess, they don't 
they keep on going after Peach, so something something's going on. This calls for what's his face? Mari Povich or, or the other guy? DNA test show <laughs> You are <laughs> you are not the father. What I kinda didn't like about Mario Odyssey though was was the boss battles. It was just a bunch of rabbits in hats. So that was a little disappointing. The the final battle with Bowser was was pretty cool, I guess, but the other regular boss battles, I just kind of wish in general with with Mario boss battles that that they put a little more thought into it. It's just the whole jump three times you're dead kind of deal is getting a little old. You know, wish that they they were more like strategical, I guess. It's all all and and like I think my favorite like I guess Easter egg is in the end. Spoiler alert: when you go back to like the Peach's castle, then you get to raid Yoshi. <laughs> like I don't know those who played Mario 64 um back in the day you could uh you could see Yoshi I think like on the castle like on the roof but in this one they they kind of redid it where you can you can actually ride him <laughs> You know what I mean <laughs> Yeah it's pretty cool you could just like go around eating like those apples or whatever the hell he likes <laughs> you can ride him as long as you want <laughs> Until you get tired of, you know, I always wondered like how how would Bullet Bill look since he has arms? How would he, how would he look if he had legs? <laughs> like like, <laughs> do you think that the legs would just go like right under him, or would the legs like pop out from the back part of him and he'll just stand up, you know, upright and then just walk <laughs> forward? And also, would they be buff or or just skinny noodles? <laughs> <laughs> That should be our next 3D model. So if you guys like what you saw, remember to like and subscribe and uh, to leave a comment if any other characters that you might want to see us do. And um, yeah, you know, just share, tell your friends. Uh, yeah, we actually have a couple models already done. Um, they're actually already printed out. So we'll have some more videos for you guys out soon. So make sure you stick around, subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video.